Hey friends, welcome back to my studio. I'm so glad you're here with me. This has just been so much fun for me to do these videos and to connect with all of you. Um, thank you so much for your friendship. So today I thought we'd do something a little different. Um, it'll be good practice for learning to draw if you're a beginner. Um, making painting sim more simple because I'm going to do watercolor sketches. And then we're going to do snowmen because they're really fun, simple shapes, and a great place to start. And I just, I love doing snowmen. I'm going to show you this image. This is actually a snowman puzzle on my anne-tro.pixels.com website. It's through Fine Art America. So you can kind of get a, a look at my style and see if you want to tag along with me while we do this. And then this is one a video I have on YouTube. It has a traceable on my website, anitro.com. If you want to paint this, I really love the wood arms and the hearts. We could do something similar to that. I thought it'd be fun for you to tag along and just see how I kind of figure out new snowmen to paint and, and just play. So let's get started. Alrighty, let's take a look at what I've got here. This is just a mechanical pencil. Oh, paper mate. Just use any pencil you want. I was wondering if I've even got like a, a school pencil. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. And then I've got a, a fine point Sharpie marker because it'll be waterproof. And then I do use um, or keep my watercolor brushes separate. This is a Utrecht, oh gosh, three quarter inch, I think. And this, these black ones are Utrecht too. So this one's kind of nice, it's longer. It can be really nice for splattering snow because it'll wiggle more. It's a number six Utrecht. You know, you can paint pretty much everything with this number 14. It's got a nice point on it. But sometimes people are more comfortable with smaller brushes. Oh, this is just a little, craft smart brush just a cheap brush I think oh I got a Princeton quarter inch angle I've got a little bit of everything here <laughs> and a Utrecht number six just to show you what I've got going on I'm probably not going to use this one I'll use this one for washes we could and then I just these are three and a half by four inch squares I just I actually meant to make them three by four but I trimmed it out of a piece of um graph paper <laughs> I just didn't pay attention to how I trimmed it and I just traced around it just for rough oh and this is I really like if you're uh, new to watercolor watercolor pads are really nice this one's from Blick art materials it's cold press it's a hundred and forty pound um, cold press means it's gonna have some texture to it which I like 100% cotton, archival. But what's nice about the pad is you don't have to tape it down. Even if it buckles a little bit from the water, um, it'll dry flat. And then once it's dry completely flat, you just stick a little table knife or a pellet knife in there and then you can take it off the pad. So I've got a couple of watercolor videos and I've got a watercolor tips and trick video, tips and tricks video that I'll link in this video's description. And I also have a watercolor booklet. It has photo steps. Um, gosh, I think several of them have videos that go with it that you might like too. Um, sometimes watercolor can seem scary because you have to leave the white, but you can use masking fluid. I think mine's all dried up. <laughs> it's not moving. Uh, Windsor Newton makes a nice brand. I like a masking fluid with a little bit of color in it so you can see it against the white paper. Um, you could come back and use, you know, uh, gouache, permanent or watercolor gouache for whites. You could even come back and use a little uh, acrylic paint. So, I mean, don't let it scare you. And a lot of times it's quicker than like my acrylic painting videos. Okay, so think shapes. Maybe I should even write that on here. Think shapes. <laughs> and I, I think that makes it easier no matter what you're drawing. And I kind of want to do a snowman and I haven't done this kind of hat before. It's kind of the, the floppy eared hats. So, and I also tend to make snowman with two. So here, I'm going to think of shape. And if I don't get it quite right, that's okay. 
Oh, and then I have a kneaded eraser, which is kind of fun. It's kind of like um, the old Silly Putty. So you can just lighten up, or you can scrub to lighten, or else I've got a couple of erasers. Here's a pink pearl in my drawer. Uh, sometimes the white ones are nice. Whatever you like, whatever you have. If you just have an eraser on the end of your pencil, totally fine. Okay, so let's kind of get a couple shapes going here. There we go. You like that? Okay, so I was thinking, I'm gonna focus on the hat first here, and I think we'll have the snowman looking this way. So I'm just gonna kind of curve. Well, actually, I don't think it'd be that long. Let's break out our eraser already. Okay, I'm gonna think a little bit here. Actually, let's maybe think like this kind of shape. There we go. So that's kind of like a V, a rounded curved V. And then we might see a little less on this side. Let's see, I'm not sure how that's gonna go. Oh, I'm going the wrong, I'm curving the wrong way. So already I'm using my eraser. But I thought it might be kind of fun for you guys to see. I don't like get it right the first time. It's gonna look like I'm pretty good because snowmen are easy and I've done quite a few of them, but. Oh, hey, yeah, let's do that. I think this is gonna kind of work. Oh, and then, so you can do like a round carrot nose. And then you can have it pointing up or down. A lot of times I do the nose first. Because then it kind of lets me know where the rest of the face is going to be. Okay, it's already starting to get cute. <laughs> I giggle all the time. I like to laugh. Okay. And then you can... Some people think the eyes should be further apart, some illustrators. I kind of like mine closer. And then you could do like dots for this. Here, maybe we'll do that. Should we just do... I think I'm gonna leave this like this. Kind of have the head back a little bit on the body. And then you could just do dots for the smile. I don't do that very often, so we'll, we'll do that. And then we could have like a little Castle blown in the wind. Maybe we'll have this one come down. Well, that's cute. Should we just like just do some stripes? Okay. And then you don't have to use the ink. I'll do some with ink and some without. Do we want a scarf? Maybe we just want like a big, big lumps of coal. Oh, and one thing I do kind of like to do, you can do, um, I kind of like stick arms like I showed you. Here, I'm looking for it. So I kind of like doing stick arms. And really, if you look at that, I hopefully that's on camera. I just kind of like drew squiggles and then two Vs. That's kind of fun. Let's do stick arms on this one. So actually that worked out pretty well. I think that works. So there you can see, that's a good way to do a stick. You can just let it squiggle. Oh, and then you know it can be kind of fun? I'm gonna get complicated on this one. Put little berries on the end. And then if that one's behind the body, um, you could put this one, I'm going to move that a little bit maybe. You could put this arm kind of coming out from the side of the body. I kind of made these arms long. I don't know if I like that. I think it'll go like this. Stop it there. And we could actually have a little branch coming out there. Oh, that's kind of fun. So I just was thinking round, and then I just squiggled. 
This is sort of round and you don't even really see it. And then we'll bring the tassel over a little bit. Oh, that's kind of cute. And then we could just kind of little horizon line. I don't know why I did that. All right, should we um, watercolor that one in? We'll do another one where I use the Okay, um, so this I got at Blick Art Materials. I'm thinking it was $15. I have it in my materials list on my website for when I used to paint in-person watercolor classes. I stopped doing it during the pandemic and I don't know if I'm gonna go back to it because um, my daughter and I are doing a lot of YouTube videos and we're able to reach more people that way. I don't know how much it costs now. It's called Angora Watercolors Made in Germany. I really like it, really inexpensive works great. I even use the lid to mix in, which will probably be off camera. Or no, you know what I could do? I could do this. Get it all on camera, maybe, or mostly. Cool. That'll work. And I'll just pull over a paper towel. So I'm gonna, I'm thinking most of you would probably like this brush, so I'm gonna use this brush. It's number six. And then what I, a lot of times what I do is I just drop a little bit of water into all my pans here. I also have tubes of watercolor, which I really like. Um, but gosh, this works really well. It comes with a white and you know, it's been so long since I've used that white. Plus you can tell I haven't really used it. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm not sure how well it works, but we can play with it. But don't, I don't know, sometimes, um, Sometimes cheap is cheap and it doesn't work very well, but sometimes inexpensive or cheap, if you $15, I think $15 is really cheap for all these colors, can work really well. And you don't have to do this. This is just something I like to do. I'm kind of excited. It's been quite a while since I've played with watercolor. And guys, let me know, I mean, I've already got watercolor videos up on my uh, YouTube channel, but I haven't been doing them. Let me know if you like that. I kind of switch gears here a little bit, show you how I, I uh, draw. And a lot of times drawing is confidence and practice, just like painting, you know? You just, it just, it's kind of like, what else? Kind of like cooking, you know? You make a recipe several times before you kind of figure out how you like it. I'm just kind of lightening up some of my scribble marks. Okay, should we start with the hat? So I've done a lot of red and green because I, I license and sell it during the Christmas time. Um, I kind of want to do, I don't know if we want to do a fun color here. I kind of like this peri, oh, is that on camera? I kind of like this, hear me, I'll do it like this. This periwinkle color. So let's just start. Maybe that'll be our main color. Oh, it's kind of light. And so what's nice is you can treat this um, more like sketching rather than, oh, I don't know what to say, like a very complicated layered painting and have fun. And then I've already got a little watercolor that creeped up on me. I don't know if it'll, I'm gonna kind of lighten that up. That was just a tissue. You could use a paper towel. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna get that one in there. Fun. Oh, you know what you can do too? Take a, a dry brush that's clean just kind of lighten it up. Okay, we're gonna let that dry a little bit before we do the stripes. I'm just gonna, I've got two jars of water here. 
they're pretty big so I, do I use them a lot for acrylic painting um, is that like a two quart mason jar I think maybe that's the size okay let's work a little bit on the snowman so our snowman body could be blues or we could just do some grays kind of decide we, I usually have my light coming from this direction so we will just do that doesn't really matter because we're just playing and sketching and seeing what we think so put a little color down add a little water to my brush maybe wipe off my brush and my paper towel I like that. Should put a little shadow. Well, that's kind of fun. Should we put a little shadow on our snowman's face? You can do snow women. This could be a pink hat. <laughs> you know? It's not my brush. Let's grab a little. Let's grab this rusty orange. It might be kind of fun with the blue. Blue and orange are compliments. Kind of light there, but I think we'll just let it dry and come back with another color. I wonder if I need a little. More water in my pan here, or my color. So let me know in the comments. Do you live someplace in the world that you can make a snowman? So one of my neighbor, oh, she's one of my art buddies, um, came over, rang the doorbell, and wanted to chat with me. She was walking home from school. And, I'm, and then we decided we we're going to do a snowman this winter, assuming we get, we should get, I'm in the middle of the United States, we should get some snow. Now see, you could leave it white like I did there. I kind of like that better. Okay, should we do a little, a little orange? Well, I think sometimes too, just not worrying about mixing colors, just use some color right out of the pan can be relaxing and more fun and less stressful um, and it doesn't really is I mean I'm talking to beginner artists but gosh I think this is a treat for anybody and then we can just I'm just gonna kind of yeah, we'll let that dry so what we could do is draw them and then you know paint them in sections too oh I forgot you guys, I need you here helping me. We need berries. I think that's funny. It's almost like, like lizard fingers, gecko. So one thing I'm thinking here is I can always come back and darken it. And you can, um, on this paper, you could scrub it out too. You can um, lighten it up if it gets too dark on you. Cute, cute and fun. So maybe um, it's kind of light yellow orange. In the cap. What do you guys think? <laughs> That's kind of fun. Let's see. It's kind of a... I'm assuming that's red red. This one looks a little darker blue or this one's 
like a pink magenta. Here's more since I'm filling it in. Pretty, uh, pretty solid. You could come back with a little. Oh, you know what else you could do? I've got like a white acrylic pen. We could put little white dots in those berries if we wanted to. Cute. Let's see, should we go with like a little, so I'm putting down a little bit of water. I just checked my phone to make sure I'm on camera. Oop, and I got a hair. Fuzz or something. We'll grab a little bit of our periwinkle. We're gonna let this kind of bleed or run or... Like it helps anchor our snowman. <laughs> Okay, I'm wondering if I want to let... That's pretty dry. It's not as dark as I thought it might be, so I'm trying to grab a little more pigment or paint. Oh, is that on camera? Let's scoot that down a little bit. I kind of bumped it up with my arm. There we go. I think that's cute. If we're not gonna do ink, I kinda wanna... Oh, I like that. Do you see how I didn't actually line it up? But I like that. I got a little uh, thickness to my string there. Get it closer for you. So my art is copyrighted, but I'm hoping this will give you ideas. Um, be a fun project to try. You could make little greeting cards out of these. Um, of course, you can give them away and gift them. You just can't sell them. The manufacturers I license to are not gonna like that. <laughs> I don't know why I giggled there. Okay. Yeah, I like that we can see it a little stronger. We could use ink too. We could use that Sharpie. Cute. Should we do a little splattering just so I don't forget? Oh, you know what? Actually, I want to add. Let's make that nose a little stronger. So you can keep going, you know, as much as you want. Ooh, that's nice and strong. I got a lot of pigment. I was going to fix it, but I think I might let it dry. And then come back, you know, with a little more color. Oh, and I was going to make the arms a little stronger. There's a little blue-green in my brown there. I probably stuck my brush in the wrong spot last time I was using it, but it, it really isn't going to hurt anything. I kind of scoop some of it up. Oh, you can kind of see there's some blue green around here. I definitely, I definitely stuck my brush in the wrong spot. Oop, that's not very dark. I'm just kind of dabbing. Yeah, oh, there we go. Now I got, <laughs> now I got pigment. I'm 
I'm kind of losing that orange a little bit. I don't know if we really needed to do the orange. Here, I can come back. Okay. Oh, you know the other thing I like to do? Sometimes I like to put like little, little soft blush on them. I don't know if that one's gonna show. Plus I'm starting to pick up the gray. Cute, 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 cute. This color. I don't think that was quite dry enough. Leave that alone. Sometimes art is leaving it alone. So I'm gonna grab some of the orange. Kind of make it darker on that side a little bit. And then come back with some of my periwinkle. So now I'm kind of thinking shading. It's kind of fun for me to play a little bit. That little spot in there, can we get it this time or is it too wet? Patience and letting it dry too, or use a hair dryer can really help. I think that's kind of nicer sometimes. Oh, you know, <laughs> oh, how many times have I said, oh, we could. I don't know if I've gotten a gray on there or not. Can add like a little shadow. Okay, I could play with that even longer. All right, let's draw another one. I end up spending more time on that one. Maybe we'll do three. Three this video and three the next video. So we have round shapes, you know? And then layers. It's not all that different than acrylic painting. Layers help you. Okay, so I was thinking it would be fun to have a snowman holding an ornament. I haven't done that yet. Oh, I was looking for my, my pencil. Oh, and I haven't done a snowman. Well, let's do one. Let's do one holding an ornament. Okay, so maybe make, should make it a little skinnier just to make it different. I don't know if I like that. Let's just kind of go with it. That's kind of Olaf's shape, if you guys know the Frozen movie. He's got kind of a tall head, I think. Okay, let's go with that. So what creative things do you guys do? Do you like to, um, Emily's learnt, taught herself how to crochet from YouTube videos. She's so good at it. Emily is my favorite daughter. I have a favorite daughter and a favorite son. I think I already mentioned it because she helps me with my YouTube videos too. You guys may know her. Um, what creative things do you like to do? Do you like to write? I think anything, I mean, you can have creative accounting. I, we, Emily and I were joking about that. I mean, anything can be creative. But what sort of things do you like to do? Okay, so let's think, let's just go just straight up rectangle. Rather than having it curve, like I had the hat curve, let's go straight up rectangle and do a scarf. And then let's do another rectangle or like, you know, here, let's do a hat. Let's do skinny rectangle. And then let's do almost like a, Now you could do a rectangle, but let's kind of make it angle, like it's gonna meet in a triangle. Cute. Put 
put a band on it. Just come out a little bit if you want. That can add a little more interest. And another rectangle. Okay, um, I'm just gonna do a rectangle here. Or should we just maybe make it kind of, um, oh, I'm looking at some of my snowmen for ideas. Let's just kind of make it simple. Trying to decide where I want to come down. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Should we do like this? Okay, now I've got it. And then we will do go like this. So it's almost triangles like the hat. And then tuck that back in there. And then you can have like little... Cute. Okay, but we wanted to do a snowman. So let's have this arm. You could do snow arms. They don't have to be branches. I just happen to like branches. So we have got a curve. I'm just kind of wiggling. But we need a spot for that ornament to sit. So let's kind of do this. And then I'm just gonna kind of wiggle it down. Circle. And you can see I'm not very good at, I mean, you can say I'm not very good at circles. I just kind of, let's, um, I don't know if that's gonna work and I might have drawn it too dark. Oh, I think actually that might work. And we could do like a loop for a hanger. Um, we could, we could just do like a, a backwards question mark. That's kind of cute. Okay. Boy, that's a long arm. But I don't know if that worries us too much. We'll stick that one behind his body. Do we do another? Okay. Do we want? We'll do this different. Okay, let's do an angle nose. So we've got angle everything else here. Let's have the nose kind of come like a triangle. And we'll just do little eyes. And then sometimes I like to do like almost crooked mouth. Well, that's pretty cute. Do we want to widen his head a little bit? <laughs> so I hope that helps. This is literally a rectangle and it's not that perfect. So circles, ovals, triangles, my on camera can totally get you there. I'm going to erase his chin. Alrighty, um, more stripes. I do a lot of stripes. We could do dots. I don't know if I want dots and squares. Let's do, we could do V's like it's a knit sweater. Should we do like really big, like hearts? Should I think hearts? Kind of cute. Now that's going to be kind of hard. Maybe we just do little V's. Will that work? <laughs> you can tell I'm trying to think. Let's just do little V's. I don't know if I like it, but that's why you would maybe do some sketches. So you can figure out Kind of figure it out before you paint like I did that uh, this snowman is a where is it is a 12 by 24 inch snowman so I definitely did a sketch first and then I did a traceable you know before I painted it big 
Sometimes I don't do that. Okay. Let's ink him. I need ink. I like to ink first. You can ink second. Here. It doesn't matter. Or if you want to put like a little even darker area. Okay. Do we like his nose like that? Oh, I guess I'll leave it. I tend to like to round him. He's got a big nose. Oh, I got a little dent in there. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna make his finger kind of bigger so it stands out. Cute, cute, cute. So we'll make this finger a little bigger. Top of that arm a little bigger. I'm gonna turn it so it's a better angle for me. Um, I think I'll draw it all. You could paint some of it. You have to outline everything. But messy little hearts. Do the trick. Maybe you want to see that closer. It just makes it more whimsical. So I think since I've got the V's down here, we'll make those hearts dark. W there. I ended up making those little loopies. Okay, so one thing nice about inking is like I made that a little rounder. You know, you can adjust the shape. And then you can come back with either eraser. Here, should I use this eraser just to mix it up? I'm gonna make sure your ink's dry, so I start at the top. I tend to like this one. I don't know why, maybe just because I'm used to it. Cool. Alrighty. So what color do we want the ornament? Let's see, can you see it if I do it this way? I just bumped my video arm, sorry about that guys. I think you can see that. Here, I could scoot it over some more. We don't need all the stuff on the left. I don't know that that did anything. Hang on, scoot it a little more. Oop. I'm gonna stick an eraser under there so it doesn't there, are we on camera? Cool. That gives me a little more wiggle room. Here, let's use a bigger brush. Number 14, you trap. Got it a little wet. So I can show you. It will make a pretty nice point if you want it to. Uh, what do we want to do? Should we do a green ornament? Okay, so I'm gonna leave 
a white spot. So my brush stroke direction matters just like an acrylic painting, or it can help you. Maybe that's a better way to say it. Okay, I got green on his thumb, but that's fine. I'm gonna grab a blue-green. Ooh, that's dark. So I'm gonna offload my brush, so it's pretty much just clean. Oop, grab a little water. Because what I'm wanting, where's my uh, Kleenex? What I'm wanting is it lighter on the left. Now what you could do after this dries is scrub that out where it went over the line a little bit if that bothers you. Okay. Let's make some... Oh, I want more than that. I want some dark hearts. a little bit on my on my brush I'm gonna see if I can uh, just get a light hint of darker red on the bottom side of this nose let that dry I, think I like this guy better but I like I really like the ornament it's fun so I suppose a black hat A lot of times put the paint down where you want it darkest, which I didn't do on that band. And then work up to your light. That's a decent tip. So one thing about acrylics is you can really go light to dark or dark to light. It's really forgiving. Not getting the dark I want. Here we go. I'm gonna offload. Grab a pinch of water. I'm gonna offload, grab a pinch of water. And then what's nice about this set, you could mix a gray or just paint it, like I've got grays here with the black. But if you're not so comfortable with it, you've got the light gray right here. Oh, that's really light. <laughs> Sometimes it takes a little patience and just a little there and I'm going to end up with more than I want. Just kind of dab it in there see how it dries. There we go. Now I finally got some. this brightens your day I'm really actually having fun I've forgotten a little a few tips about watercolor painting like lay down your color where you want it the darkest first and you can blend out from there is that gonna dry dark enough for me 
So which do you like better, the pencil or the ink? Leave that in the comments. I don't know that I have a favorite. Oh, here, should we put a little... That's pretty cute. Okay. I wonder if that's dry enough. I don't I have a feeling it's not. You know what? I might grab this angle brush. Let's see if I can scrub that out a little bit. Oh, it's pretty soft. I should wait a little longer. Okay. Grab some lighter red. Well, that's not that light. We'll just get some paint down and come back with a layer. Grab a little darker red. It's a little tricky because I can see that it, I don't know if you can see it, but it's a little wet. I can see it's um, buckling or bulging up a little bit. <laughs> if you didn't want that to bleed, which I really didn't, that's a little risky. <laughs> I think that's kind of funny. It's kind of went for it. Cute. Arms. Just pick another color for fun. This is kind of in my way a little bit. I normally have my palette on the left because like even if I'm like at an easel I'm holding an acrylic paint palette I hold it in my left hand and paint with my right um, if you if you like it the other way don't worry about it I'm grabbing just a pinch of water not even a pinch just barely sticking my tip in there and grab just a little bit of water Now, if that's too dark, I'm going to move this a minute. Grab just a little bit of water. It's not really scrubbing up, but let's see what happens if I... Ah! That really lightened it. I guess I'm gonna leave it. I mean, I got the same paint on my brush. I'm just gonna come over here and I like that better. And then when it dries, we can come back with a little darker brown if we wanted. Okay, let's grab a little of this green. Add a little more depth. Should we make this greener? I want it darker. Oh, I just felt my hair hit the phone. Hopefully it wasn't in the way. Cute. You know what we could do? Oh, nose. We gotta do nose. Now, I don't know if that red made any difference with that heavy of orange. Let that dry. We could splatter. I'm gonna go back to the smaller brush just because it's going to be cleaner. So one thing about a smaller brush, I think it's easier to get the paint out of it. I don't know if that's true. You guys let me know if you paint with watercolor what you think. Let 
this might not work like I wanted to, but let's try it. So that's pretty wet, so it's gonna bleed. That's kind of working. Go let it dry. Let's grab some. Uh, some value, add some fun. Okay, let's um, take my lightest blue-ish color and I'm gonna put some on here. Let's see if I can get it to splatter. All right, I'm gonna move it just so it's not my way. So if you had a dark background, you could splatter with the white. I don't know how strong this white is. Or you could splatter with gouache. You could um, splatter with some acrylic paint. I'm just grabbing. Actually, I can grab some from here too. Let's get some bigger dots. Should we give him a shadow? Kind of anchor him. Fun. Okay, we'll do one more, and then I think I'll do another video down the road with three more snowmen. I think that'll be fun, and that way the video won't be too long. I don't know how long we're going here. And it'll be easier for Emily, who I do basic editing and she adds the cute, she made and adds the cute intro. And if you haven't seen the outro, that's cute too. <laughs> she does all the heavy lifting for me. Just kind of wiping up some of the. All right. Should we just do a fun, I'm trying to figure out where to put my watercolors. What should we do next? Should we do a snowman looking up? Let's do a snowman looking up. Where's my pencil? Right there. Okay, so we need room for a nose. So our nose, maybe we'll go from there to there. And then is the nose gonna attach to the top? Maybe we'll have the nose kind of attach. So I'm gonna do like a C shape. Make it kind of chubby. And then so we need to think oval. So we have triangle, maybe I don't know, it's not even a C shape that's not curved enough, just a little arc. Because the eyes could be almost like right there. <coughs> Excuse me guys. Kind of fun. I suppose we should maybe do a round scarf. I did a square scarf. Oh, we could do a bow tie. I haven't done a bow tie. Circle. And then see, let's keep it simple. I'm looking to see if I have a bow tie that I've already painted. There's kind of one. Can you see that? So we just keep it simple. Maybe big. <laughs> well, that's kind of fun. We'll bend it in. And then we need a body. Do we want a whole body or do we want the body to go off the page? Decisions. I don't know what I want to do. So I adjusted that line because I didn't want it to line up so closely with the um, the bow tie. 
I think that works. So like if I painted this, I would probably scoot it over to the left a little bit because I'm a little tight to this side. Kind of chubby. Do we want... Here, let's just do a little fun. Okay, so simple, it's like a parenthesis. And then we'll go like this, we'll go like this. And if you can't remember how the thumbs go, your thumbs go towards your body. We'll do a little mitten. Kind of like it's shading its eyes. Oh, that's kind of fun. And then you could have it stick in, or you could have it stick to the sides. I think I'll just stop it right at the edge of the snowman. So another little, and then a square or a rectangle. Keep it simple. And your thumbs go on the inside. You could also do this part first. Fun. And if you wanted to, gonna get a little more complicated. You could have like a little depth. So st I just stopped it short and it's just a triangle basically. I just don't finish the triangle. <laughs> Makes me laugh. Okay, I really like that hat. Oh, you know what? I didn't even do anything with the pom pom. We could. There's always so many options. I'm gonna set this here for a minute. And I'm happy I remembered to work left or right so that I'm not dragging through the wet, wet paintings we're doing. You could like, um, I'll put, oh, I hear favorite daughter coming. I'll be back in a minute. Okay guys, I'm back. I was just gonna paint the top of this. I only stopped by to drop off some of my Tupperware she had at her, her place, which is super nice. All right, so I didn't paint the top of this puff. I skipped right over it. But you could just kind of add a little color. You could make it come out a little more. You don't really have to do much to it. You could just leave it with pencil. Okay. All right, let's paint this one and we'll be done. We could do a little background. I haven't really done that. So I'm just getting it wet. I can see freckles out of my peripheral vision. I don't know if she's gonna meow. Okay, I kinda like, let's use a different blue. I really like this periwinkle. Is it on camera? This color. I'm having a little trouble, guys. Let's try this color. Okay. So start where you want it darkest. And what's nice is it really won't creep. I might it might go into those mittens if I don't pay too much attention. There's freckles. But for the most part, it'll just follow the water. Oh, there I went into the mitten. That was my fault, not the water's fault. Just keep it simple. So let me know if you try drawing these. Um, you totally can draw them, make, a, make greeting cards, and if you give them away, that's fine. You just can't sell any of my art designs, because I mostly because I, I worry about it. I license my art. I have an agent, and they just wouldn't like it. And they have money to go after copyright issues, you know. I would just feel terrible if that happened to you guys. Okay, I think that's fun. I think we'll just stop. Hey, Freckles. 
don't know if you can hear. Oh, you know what? I never put a darker color on this nose. Oh, you can see the red a little bit. Kind of bled too with the gray. I think it's nice to give it a little depth. You could leave it straight up orange. Okay. Grab some of this light orange. I think we'll just fill that in. That's really light orange. I grab some of the regular orange. All right, we'll let that dry. Should we do um that blue I used for the sky? Should we do some really light blue, way darker than I want? So I un offloaded the paint on my brush, and now I'm just kind of scrubbing it out. I rather like this mouth. I think that might be my favorite mouth, and I did it probably the fastest. Sometimes not thinking so much is better and not worrying about your own handwriting and how it looks is better. I think that's cute. We haven't used purple. Should we do a purple bow? Let's see. I think I'm just going to put some light purple in it and then we'll come back with some more color. darker than I wanted, so I'm offloading the paint. Grabbing some water. I'm going to grab some more water here. I got a little fast and messy. I'm also, I think this video is getting long, so I'm trying to hurry up. <laughs> okay, and then let's grab some darker. Oop. So you can see, like, I don't always get what I want the first time I try to grab some color. And paint as slow as you want to paint. I just worry about both upload times and I also worry about um, if I'm boring you guys. It's not that interesting. Okay, I put a little shadow in there right now. I'm thinking of it. Fun. So what color? Should we do the mittens and the buttons the same color? Pink? So this will sort of be just a wintry snow person rather than a holiday snow person. So I grabbed a little water. I think it's fun not to worry about mixing colors so much. Just play. I don't know why I'm scrubbing. Just cause, probably because I feel like it. Oh, I know. Just to have it go a little quicker. Oh, I like the pink and the purple. Whoop. A little darker than I wanted. Plus, I think I've got a cat hair. I don't know if you can see it on camera. <laughs> on the video. Those almost look like pig noses now. Instead of buttons. Alright, while that dries, I'm going to put a little gray in. So I'm cleaning out my brush. Well, here, look. And this is my dirty water. I haven't even used my clean water. You really don't get much dirty water with... Uh, watercolor painting. Can can you see? Oh, you can see a little bit. The paper towel, it's wet. But there's not that much color on it. It's a little neater, maybe. Okay, I'm not getting any. There we go. So this one, we don't have to anchor. It's going right off the, that's darker than I want it. It's going right off our page. Okay. 
Okay, do we want a little shadow here? I don't know if we need one. I think I've got a pencil line there, don't I? You know, I said I don't know if we need one, but I think I kind of like it. It makes it look like it's look this snow person's looking up more. Cute. Oh, I think my orange bled into my sky a little bit because it was so wet. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Grab a little red. All right, cleaning up my brush. I'm gonna grab a little hot pink. It's not quite so hot. I think you guys get the idea. I will definitely make this a two-parter and do another three snowmen, snowmen, snow people in a week or so. I think that'll be fun. Give us both some more, idea, more ideas for what we might want to do in the future. So I would call this like watercolor sketching. I'm not being too particular, but I think it can be really fun. And I don't know if I like those mittens. What do you guys think? Put it in the comments. If you're liking this video, I haven't said this in a long time, hit the like button. That helps me reach more people. Helps the channel. I really appreciate it. Um, if you haven't subscribed, it's been super fun for me to get to know. I've gotten to know quite a few of you guys. It's been really fun. I feel like you're here in my studio with me. Okay, that's way darker than I want. I'm talking more than I'm painting. <laughs> I do better when I don't talk. Okay. I get quiet when I paint my voice. I get librarian voice. Cute. I kind of like it messy. You can do it as neat or as as tight as you want. Okay, one thing I want to do and then we're going to go. I want to see if this white will show up. I don't know if this is going to be dark enough. So I'm cleaning up my brush. Oh, did I use this one? I did. Should we use the long wiggle one? I think I did. It was wet. I don't know if it's going to show. I don't know if my dark my background's dark enough. All right, let's see if that. Oh, it kind of does, but I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, that's really light. We would need a darker background. Let's see if you can see the white that I splattered or use gouache, use acrylic paint to splatter. Okay guys, I hope this was fun. I hope it gave you some ideas of how to draw a snowman and to think shapes. Think shapes, it can make drawing so much easier and it doesn't have to be perfect. Look how wobbly my oval is. I think that's actually even cuter and how wiggly my lines are. You don't have to get it all smooth and nice and neat. All right, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys in part two when we do the next three. Great big happy art hugs and I hope to chat with you soon. Bye, guys.